Hi, my name is Rick Cordero. I'm a senior media producer. I produce video content for Duo Security here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I live with my wife, Nancy, and 11-year-old daughter, Chloe, who's in the fifth grade. So like everyone else, I'm working from home and I think it's really important to stay on schedule and stick to a routine. In the mornings, I run for about a half an hour on my treadmill for cardio, as well as some push-ups and sit-ups for strength exercises. My wife uses this really cool app called Center for her exercise routine. We take vitamins and also make protein shakes before getting started with our day. My working from home setup is a desktop Intel i7 4.2 gigahertz with an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1070 and a 43-inch 4K LG monitor for video editing. I also use my MacBook Pro laptop mainly for communications and meetings on WebEx. Because my role is in video production, I've had to discover some creative ways to do visual storytelling from home. So a good example of that is a duo enrollment video that I had to shoot for a major customer. The original plan was to shoot this video in the duo office with our production gear. Fortunately, we were able to shoot this in our living room with some clever art direction. Also, my wife Nancy is a filmmaker and actor, so we collaborated on producing the video and she was able to stand in as the user. So homeschooling Chloe is, still feels very similar to you as if she was in school. So um, it's a very familiar day for me, but it's nice that I can mix in things that she doesn't get to learn at school, and it's nice that I can end it when I want to end it. So Chloe's learning experience at home has been really self-driven, so she's adjusting really, really well and just getting through it. We mix it up as much as we can, but we try to spend at least two hours outside every day. I'm also trying to teach Chloe piano, so we spend about 45 minutes a day learning to play piano with the books I used to use when I was a kid. So that was just a quick look into our daily routine. I know that when we get through this, we'll probably have a newfound perspective on how to care for each other and be kinder than necessary. And that's it, stay safe and stay healthy.